Okay, today we're going to be using free web hosting to set up WordPress. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using X10 Hosting. I found them to be pretty fast and reliable for a free web host, and particularly in Australia, the performance has been pretty good. So just go ahead and click Create My Account. So here we just need to choose a name for our site. I'm going to call mine Idea Tech. So just enter that in there. Hit Continue. and your email address. Just enter your email address here. And you'll need a nice strong password. So just make up a nice password and agree to the terms of service. Okay, now we just have to check our inbox and click to continue. So let's go to our inbox. We've got an email confirmation link. Hit the confirmation link. And we've been confirmed, so hit continue. So now the website is just setting up and We'll just have to refresh the page after about a minute and so just be patient. So after about a minute, we're all ready to go. Just click continue. And here it's going to generate a random name for you. So you can just enter a, just a first name to make it a bit more user friendly and hit continue. And just click continue again. And here we are at our control panel. So just hit open control panel. Okay, now by default, we have only got a basic control panel. So here we just click switch theme and switch to cPanel X3. That'll give us a lot more um, customization options. And we're gonna need this to be able to install WordPress. So just hit uh, switch to cPanel X3 and wait a minute. It's going to ask us to sign in again. So just go ahead and put your email and your your password back in there. Now we can save that password for later. And hit open cPanel again. Now we have a, a more full-featured cPanel. So the first thing we want to do is update the PHP version. Now, the latest version of WordPress runs better on the latest version of uh, PHP. So this is all you need to change here. 5.5, increase it to 7.1 and set that as current. Uh, if you try to install WordPress with 5.5, you'll run into some problems. So we've set it to 7.1. Go back to our control panel and we need to find our WordPress installer. So here we've got one just down the bottom, Softaculous Apps Installer and WordPress. So go ahead and click that. Here we go. We just have to hit install now. This is all fine. We just need to delete the directory. Just leave that blank. So WordPress installs straight into your domain name. Our domain name will be idiatech.x10host.com. Um, we can leave the title normal and we can set up a admin username and password. So I'm going to call that idea tech and set up a nice strong password for this as well. And the admin email, you need to want to change that as well. And this is all fine. And just hit install. So after a few minutes, WordPress will install and we'll be ready to go. Here we go. So now WordPress has been successfully installed so we can have a look. We should get a blank WordPress site here. And we have. 
and we can go to our admin dashboard by following that link. So here we are at our WordPress dashboard where we can do anything. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to appearance and themes and install your theme for your WordPress site. If you're starting out, I recommend using the Astra theme. So just hit add new and then you'll need to search for Astra. Just type that into the search box and it should pop up the first one. There we go. So go ahead and install that. I've covered how to install the theme and customize your site using Elementor in my tutorial video. So check that out, link in the description. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful or if you need some help on anything in particular, happy to help out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.